Uh, hello guys, I have this two ICOS heating system, it was version 2.4, it's old version of ICOS heating system and it doesn't work for a long time, so I decided to make a second life for these two devices by extracting of them batteries and uh, reuse these batteries in another devices. So first we need to uh, extract batteries from ICOS body. I just use hammer to open to open device body and it's very easy and fast way to open device body and what we can see battery and it holds by some plastic parts it's not hard to extract it connector and what we can see two batteries from two devices now you can read description from manufacturer of ICOS and I have this Litokawa charger I wish to try to charge these two batteries by this Litokawa charger and then see if it's still alive but first we need to remove these connectors we need to remove this shell from batteries because you can see here we have some uh, additional parts on the battery like this black shell like covers looks like it's a thermal shell it's not too easy <laughs> to remove so I So I make this video faster because it takes some time to remove all these additional parts from batteries. What we can see here some charging controller. And some covers of battery pinouts. Here you can read description, data sheet for this battery. The quality of this ba battery is very high. The quality of controller, of shell, very high quality of connector, soldering, very high quality. It's hard to remove all these parts from battery. And here you can compare battery with shell and battery without any additional parts. It's typical battery and I have this uh, DUI power bank and I wish to insert these batteries into this DUI power bank. Now I'm already start to charging these batteries by by this Litokawa charger. And now two batteries already charged. And let's check voltage. Four point twenty three. Four point twenty three. I think it's good voltage for these batteries, so it's still alive, and I can reuse it. Four point twenty three two. Okay, nice, nice. That means that we can reuse this battery in other projects. 
I have this DUI power bank and let's try to insert these batteries into this DUI power bank. Where is power button? Ah, uh huh. 74% uh, looks like this power bank need to recalibrate. Need to recalibrate, but it's working. Let's test it. Let's test it by using this USB lamp, USB LED lamp, power on. Mm, it's working, nice. We need sometimes to recalibrate this DUI power bank because it shows a percentage of uh, charge uh, not correct, 74%. But if we power it on and try to charge again, it will be set on uh, 100%. Okay, nice, it's working. Here you can read the description data sheet for these batteries again. And thanks for watching.